Emma and John, congratulations to you both. I absolutely, I jumped so many times during this movie. Huge fan of the horror genre, obviously. Love and your background. Last, yes, and awesome. the last time I spoke with you was for holiday and I had to show you my Chanel Overland pillow back here. Which I is have the same tattoo game. as you too. We both have a moon. Yes. Oh, yes. That's that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. I forgot that you had one. Um, well, congratulations on this film. Absolutely loved it. Um, I, Emma, I love it when your character says, I like a little haunting because I that reminded me of me. The two of you are not strangers to the horror genre. Of course, Hush, 10 Cloverfield Lane, Scream Queens, American Horror Story. What is the most scared that you have ever been on a film set? Do you actually get scared while making a movie? Emma, I'll begin with you. I mean, I, I we were talking about this earlier. We're like, I'm more scared reading scary scripts than I am like filming. Because when you're filming, it's like, you know, the curtains pulled back. Like you see that, you know, the blood is fake. You see everyone like laughing and like eating a hamburger for lunch, even if they're in zombie makeup. So it's like, you're not really like that freaked out. But when I read something like this movie abandoned, when I read it, it really creeped me out and it really stuck with me. And like, I couldn't shake it and it really got me thinking and so so I definitely get more scared reading stuff than I do actually like acting it that doesn't surprise me because you're a huge book reader so that does not surprise me at all John what about for you I think I did this film uh that James Gunn wrote the screenplay for called the Belko experiment and we filmed it in Colombia and there was a scene that called for someone to uh be lit on fire and I thought well this is the modern age of filmmaking they'll CGI this I'm sure they're going to want to fast track it and not spend all the time and the effort to actually light someone on fire but they flew somebody out specifically all the way from Los Angeles to Colombia just to do this full body burn to get lit on fire they did it in two takes and um Here. it was Ew. horrific he did it twice oh my god and it was insane and i mean everybody was kind of like obviously there were a, a, you know safety precautions up the wazoo but i was like wait are we sure we should be doing this <laughs> you don't want to find some other workaround um but they did it and it was i remember they did the first one and then they came in with a fire extinguisher and you know, uh, and then he I jumped back up. to that guy when they're like, sorry, we got to do it again. Like he's like, <laughs> he jumped up and was like, I think I got another one in me. I feel like we didn't get it right. You know? Oh my God. That is so crazy. And like petrifying that it's only two times. Um, well, one of my favorite scenes in the movie, Emma, is when your character is talking to the doctor, um, that performance, it was so like raw and real. And I feel like I love this movie because there's so many relatable uh, moments in it for women that we never even see rarely in movies especially in the horror genre so I'm curious if that part was the, like the themes of that was part of the reason why you took on this role yeah I mean I I, I will and John said this earlier so I'm not going to pretend like I made this up but what he said and it's so true is like what what we, what we both loved about these characters and this movie is that when you when you take away the like genre element and anything potentially supernatural the characters still stand and so I really liked that where you know I was I wasn't playing you know like a villain or a vi like I was playing a real person and and I really liked too that it really explores this idea of like we meet Sarah and like, she doesn't feel like she's getting it right being a mom. She doesn't feel like she's getting it right being a wife. And so, I, you know, I, I just, I love seeing that because I do think it's like rare to, you know, really show someone like failing in these roles that women are not supposed to fail in. And, and then also it's like, but, but she's doing the best she can. And you kind of just go on this journey with her and you feel for her. And a lot of times you don't agree with her, but then other times you're totally on her side. And so I kind of just like loved all of that and and it really like made me much more uh, um, attracted to the movie um other than loving the script but just like that kind of meat of the character was really really interesting to me yeah no i love that thank you for sharing that um and again congratulations to you both they're wrapping me emma i did the junket for first kill i oh. absolutely loved that series i spoke with amani sarah catherine and victoria the best. I can, yeah i cannot wait for fans to see that this weekend by Thanks the way so congratulations you. to you on that because i know that's like a huge deal for you 
Thank you so much. Yeah, that was such like a passion project that we did through Bellatrice. And so to see it like, you know, to see the like poster of that on the Netflix platform, I'm like, oh my God. And to have it be something that I'm um, executive producing and not starring in, it just felt like yeah. really, really good. So, and I'm so happy for everyone to see it. I think they're going to like it. So it's thank such you. a sexy poster. And that first episode is so sexy. I think like fans are going to be super excited. Again, congratulations thank to you, you both. And thank you for your time today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it.